Hi guys, it's still February 25, 2020. This is how mainstream media is presenting the coronavirus to Americans tonight. The other big story tonight, a dire warning from the CDC that an outbreak of coronavirus is coming here to the U.S. It could be severe and Americans need to prepare now. There is also word that this country doesn't have enough face masks to contain an outbreak. The news sent the stock market reeling again. The Dow has dropped more than 1,900 points in two days. That's a loss of nearly 7%. Health officials warn the U.S. could soon see more cases as the virus spreads outside China. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Chris Van Cleve in Washington. And I understand, Chris, you have some breaking news. Nora, San Francisco has just declared a state of emergency, the first major American city to do so because of coronavirus, even though San Francisco has zero cases so far. But the CDC is saying it's no longer a matter of if but when the virus starts spreading here. The CDC is sounding the alarm tonight, warning Americans the coronavirus is coming. We are um, asking the American public to work with us to prepare in the expectation that this could be bad. The CDC's Nancy Messonnier said she told her own children to prepare for a significant disruption, and parents should ask their schools about plans for dismissal if the illness becomes serious in their communities. Fears the outbreak could cripple the global economy sent stocks tumbling for the second straight day, with United Airlines and MasterCard warning investors' earnings will take a hit. I think it's going to be under control. President Trump and his aides Again, struck a different tone. And so far as containment is concerned, we have tightly contained this. But Republicans and Democrats on Capitol Hill who got an emergency briefing on the virus so were I not buying that fight. Like, bottom line is it seems to be getting worse, not better. Their anger focused on a lack of medical supplies needed in the event of an outbreak. As the secretary, my budget you're, supports, you're supposed to keep the safe. My budget supports the men and women you're of the Department of Homeland Security. You're the secretary of Homeland Security. Yes, sir. And you can't tell me if we have enough respirators. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar said the agency has only stockpiled 30 million respirators or face masks. They'll need 300 million for healthcare workers alone in an outbreak. Despite saying Americans don't need them right now, the cost of face masks has risen dramatically. And the largest U.S. manufacturer said it's fielding 100 calls a day. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington. Wow. Now, Americans watching this, how many do you think are filled with fear tonight after that CBS report? I bet a lot. Okay. Uh, what's getting bad is the information that we are getting on this. Oh, that agenda. So CDC warns Americans of significant disruption from coronavirus. What are those disruptions? Uh, significant, you should prepare. They're calling on Americans to prepare for a coronavirus outbreak. Okay, which does come in contrast to what the Trump administration has been saying, certainly to what Trump tweeted yesterday. Hey, it's all good. All right. Um, Americans should continue to practice protective measures, hand washing, staying home from work when sick, while local officials should make sure systems are in place teleschooling, working remotely, should face-to-face -face interactions need to be reduced. That means quarantine, home quarantine. Every community's response will be different. What appro What's appropriate for a community with local transmission may not be appropriate for a community in which no local transmission has occurred. So, one community can be on lockdown and other communities are not. Health Secretary Azar, U.S., would be undertaking the most 
aggressive containment efforts in modern history. Ooh, Pelosi, of course. Well, yeah, everything is a fight in this country. Every friggin' thing is a fight. And, you know, it really... (laughs) So all of this information about the coronavirus, again, it does not matter if the information is um, false or true. What matters is the information that they're putting out, the propaganda. So we have this coronavirus. It's near pandemic where it's going to be bad. That came from uh, a CDC director of, uh, oh, what's her name? Nancy Messermeyer. I don't know. CDC, Americans prepare for this outbreak. People dying all over the world from coronavirus. <laughs> we have our batshit crazy politicians in Washington, D.C. They can't even stop for a second to work together. No, we're going to fight. And we're going to, we're just going to degrade one another. It's so sickening. It's so unbelievably immature, but it really reflects how truly mentally ill you know, a whole lot of Americans are. You know, what we have seen of our quote-unquote leaders is so repulsive, certainly since Trump took office. It's been really... Uh, I didn't think much would shock me anymore, but yeah, shocking, shocking behavior of these people. And I don't hear a peep from Americans about it. It's, it's kind of sad, but Pelosi, she called the request of, well, you know, it's really interesting too, because the information that we're getting from mainstream media Oh, I don't understand why they can't get their facts consistent. So here it says 1.25 billion. But in an article that I posted today, posted on, uh, 2.5 billion. So it's 1.25. It's long overdue and completely inadequate to the scale of this emergency. She accused Trump of leaving critical positions in charge of managing pandemics at the National Security Council and the Department of Homeland Security, vacant. Oh, the president's most recent budget called for slashing funding for the Centers for Disease Control, which is on the front lines of this emergency. And now he is compounding our vulnerabilities by seeking to ransack funds still needed to keep Ebola in check. Oh, shit. (laughs) Well, wow, I didn't know. Okay, I guess Ebola is still a possibility of breaking out. All right. Our state and local governments need serious funding to be ready to respond effectively to any outbreak in the U.S. The president should not be raiding money that Congress has appropriated for other life or death public health priorities. She added the House, her house of representatives will swiftly advance a strong strategic funding package that fully addresses the scale and seriousness of this public health crisis. And she had Schumer all, oh yeah, in lockstep with all of this crap. You know, oh, that's right, Carol. It's election year. Oh, campaigns are going on. So yeah. We're going to compete. We're going to compete. How about just working together to keep Americans safe from this coronavirus? If it is even a virus, oh my God. Oh, so much, so much, so much. CDC outlines what closing schools, businesses would look like in pandemic. And here, 
a woman in New York, she didn't want to be identified. They're wearing their masks already. Already. And all of my highlighting came off. So here's the, oh, Nancy Mezenier, uh, director of the CDC's National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases. She said, we are asking the American public to work with us to prepare for the expectation that this could be bad. Uh, schools should consider dividing students into smaller groups or close and use internet-based teleschooling. Okay? For adults, businesses can replace in-person meetings with video or telephone conferences and increase teleworking options. Local communities and cities may need to modify, postpone, or cancel mass gatherings. Hospitals may need to triage patients differently, add more telehealth services and delay elective surgery. But people begin preparing. U.S. health officials started warning businesses, schools, and parents to start preparing for this new deadly new coronavirus. Concerns among infectious disease experts and scientists that the virus is spreading too quickly and may be past the point of containment. So, yeah, we're moving right along towards that new world order. Surgical face masks don't protect against coronavirus. So, think about what you would do for childcare if schools or daycares are closed, but you still have to go to work. Here they say 53 cases, and this was posted today, or here at CDC late Monday confirmed 53. Now we're up to 57. Now we're up to 57. So, um, yeah, prepare. Prepare for your community to get a lockdown and that you have to stay inside your home or your apartment. Um, so San Francisco declares a local emergency. No cases in San Francisco. This mayor's name is really London Breed. Her name is really London Breed. Whoa. Okay. Um, City of London has an awful lot of power. Controls. Pretty much controls all the world's finances. Years and years ago, I posted a video on on uh, this white paper that I found, cannot find it, don't even recall its title, but I do recall, it said the U.S. would be the jailer and the military in this global New World Order. Uh, City of London would be the finance, the uh, centralization of finance, global finance at, at the city of London. Africa would be the tech hub. That's all I can remember. But we are, we sure are a jailer. I mean, we have more people in jail than any other country. And we sure are the military. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Policing the world. San Diego Board of Supervisors extends coronavirus emergencies. Um, 
All right. Apparently, Trump came out and said that we're very close to a coronavirus vaccine. He came out and said that today. But then people rushed and said no. He was talking about Ebola. And apparently there's funding to keep Ebola in check. Yeah, he, he just made a mistake. Oops, sorry. All right. CDC outlines pandemic planning as fears send stocks plunging for a second day. Okay. So, 800 points down. But here, new coronavirus case in Germany. Um, I'm just going to read what... New cases, just watching the numbers rise. Delta scraps cancellation fees for Italy flights. U.S. health officials say human trials on coronavirus vaccine to start in six weeks. Wow. So uh, first we heard it would be three months before a vaccine could be developed for the coronavirus. Then it was 18 months. Now we're going to start trials in six weeks. Okay. Okay. U.S. health officials say coronavirus will likely cause a global pandemic. Azar said, we can't hermetically seal off the United States. And he confirmed the four new cases, bringing it up to 57. Um, FDA says it's monitoring the market for potential drug shortages and fraudulent treatment claims. Uh, All right. Um, The FDA identified about 20 drug products that either solely source their active ingredients or produce finished drug products in China and has contacted their manufacturers to see if they are experiencing any supply issues. No, we're not yet. FDA reached out to over 180 manufacturers to remind them of their requirement to notify the FDA of any anticipated supply disruptions. We've already, and I've even posted videos now years ago, suddenly there was no Adderall. No Adderall? Do you know how many kids are on Adderall? Yeah. Well, There was a massive shortage and people were unable to get their prescription filled for Adderall. Now, I don't think there was a shortage. I think they do these things just to see what happens. You know, data collection. Um, But there, I've listened to other people who are unable, they show up to get their monthly, well, for a neighbor, it was a blood pressure medication, and she was unable to get it for like two weeks. They just didn't have it. So, blood pressure medication? Don't be surprised if this pandemic actually manifests here in the United States and suddenly you can't get medication that you're taking. What do you do? What do people do when they can't get their psychiatric medication? The withdrawal from that is horrendous. Horrendous. The withdrawal from it can make people homicidal or suicidal. We're talking not pleasant. (laughs) You don't want to be in a lockdown in a community where a lot of people are suddenly withdrawing 
from medications, not psychiatric medications. CDC hopes the coronavirus outbreak is seasonal, like the flu, and subsides in the summer. You know, I'm always thinking about all these headlines that I, okay, what's that headline about? Might this be a drill? You know, I saw this article posted today. This is not a drill. It's a deadly pandemic, organic prepper. What, why, why do you say it's not a drill? We don't even know. We don't even know. They could be conducting this as a drill. We wouldn't know that because they're playing everything as real. But they want the data. They want to see how people all over the world respond to shortages, lockdowns, uh, mandatory quarantines, mandatory vaccines. And they may just pull the plug on this in the summer and say, oops, it's all done. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. That's, that's what's going on. We do not know. So um, let me just, uh, the 11th, another person died in northern Italy. Romania confirms first case. Uh, Macy's is planning for a coronavirus hit. Goldman steps up uh, travel restrictions for their staff. Bahrain reports six new cases. And I heard a senator today say that we only had 14 cases in the United States. Uh, We only have 14. CDC confirms 53. Azar said there's three or four more cases. Trump sows confusion in discussing vaccine. Man, Switzerland has first case. Oman, two more cases. Another drug for the novel coronavirus. Clinical trial being started. Austria confirms two cases. Earlier today, Austria had one. So it's it's definitely, you know, the numbers are heading in a direction that portends uh, communities in the United States going through what Italy is going through right now. Death toll increases in Iran to 16. So, um, you know, you might want to take a look at this article, though I think probably all of you know you know, the alarming scope of the president's emergency powers. And this was February 2019. Um, well, what happens? The presidential powers, when that president, and it's solely the president's discretion to declare a national emergency, the moment that's declared, 100 special provisions become available to him. Many of these tee up reasonable, but there are the other provisions that you, uh, you're looking at China. When the World Health Organization praises President Xi for his authoritarian response to this coronavirus? Okay, well, do you think Trump is just going to be real relaxed about this? No. Don't you think Trump is kind of power hungry? 
wow, I get to declare a national emergency and I'll have, well, I'll be able to do things right out smack in front of everybody's face instead of hiding things. Because we, we truly are no longer that United States that we used to be. We have moved into a police state, a fascist state, a surveillance state. I saw this article today. China um, has manifested 1984. The other country that's going to manifest it, the United States. And if you don't know what 1984 is, it's, it's the novel by Orwell, George Orwell. Um, and if you don't know, you might want to pick it up and read it. But uh, with the flick of his pen, he can activate laws allowing him to shut down many kinds of electronic communications, the Internet, uh, freeze Americans' bank accounts, deploy troops inside the country to subdue, domestic unrest, but troops have been for years, ever since 9-11. We've seen our troops on Main Street America joining forces with local law enforcement, and that's been going on for a very long time, so Americans have already been desensitized to these draconian actions that will at some point be taken here in the good old U.S. of A. Um, and, and I find it interesting. All right, rights will be suspended along with the U.S. Constitution, which is, uh, it doesn't even exist. Uh, but Congress suspends the writ of habeas corpus that allows government officials to imprison people without judicial review. Uh, doesn't this uh, journalist know that habeas corpus went bye-bye many, many years ago? How is it possible? It's like, are we living in separate realities? That habeas corpus, my God, I don't know, five years ago, we were all screaming about what Obama was doing. Due process, habeas corpus, it all went bye-bye. No, we don't have two separate parties. And for those who think I'm just bashing Trump and I'm some libtard, grow up. No, I, I'm... Thoroughly disgusted with the Matrix. Would love it if everybody else would just give it up, but apparently not. Emergency powers contain, uh, contained in 123 statutory provisions, from military composition to agricultural exports to public contracts. Activate the law that allows the Secretary of Transportation to requisition any privately owned vessel at sea. Well, essentially, what these powers that are granted by a president declaring a national emergency, they can requisition your house, your car, your boats, your job. They can order you to work somewhere. They can take your food. And they can hold you indefinitely without due process. Oh, wait. National Authorization Act. Was it, was it 2012, 2013, New Year's Eve? Obama signed away. The, uh, and that signing, wow, that hurt. Because due process is the thing that really distinguishes Americans from every other people in the world. Due process. Our due process rights. Yeah, it allows 
the individual who is about to be picked up and arrested, well, there's got to be some basis for the arrest, probable cause, and the individual gets to know what the charges are, and they have a right to an attorney, they have a right to a speedy trial, all of that good stuff. It's gone away. Uh, That was Obama signing it away. So now the military can come, and yes, they can come right into your home, pick somebody up, a family member, drag them outside, hold them indefinitely anywhere in the world, and your family doesn't even have the right to know where you're being held. So yes, the internet kill switch. Other powers are chilling. Take a moment to consider that during a declared war or national emergency, the president can unilaterally suspend the law that bars government testing of biological and chemical agents on unwitting human subjects. Oh my God, that's so, oh, wow. Hello? They've been doing it. Yeah. It's really, you you read this and you think, am I reading the writing of a seventh grade kid? Testing of biological and chemical agents. Our U.S. military and government have been doing that forever. And there's a lot of evidence regarding that. But look at what's being sprayed in our skies. Wow. Uh, They can order a range of economic actions to address the threat, including freezing assets, blocking financial transactions in which any foreign nation or foreign national has an interest, but they can also close up your shop, your business. Yeah, Kafka-esque. Well, it's already Kafka-esque. So, this is not a drill. I'm sorry, organic prepper, you don't know if it's a drill or not. But, uh, good information. The organic prepper provides for us. A virus comes to your neighborhood, you most likely would have a mild respiratory illness. Uh, If you become serious, you have a 9% chance of becoming the next victim. Oh, well, who knows? I don't know. Um, But here, Minnesota Department of Health Infectious Disease Director Chris Erisman, Erisman, I don't know, said it's very likely there will be outbreaks of the virus here in Minnesota. Uh, Michael Ostrom Osterholm, an expert in infectious disease at the University of Minnesota, said people should assume the virus will hit hard. And that's from an article that continues stating that covering the likelihood of hospitals reaching capacity, the need for plans to keep power and utilities running during the outbreak, for families to have communication plans, discuss who would take care of sick family members, assuming they wouldn't require hospital-level care, and to have extra food on hand. Hospitals at capacity. You may have people dying in your home. Mandatory quarantines, residential lockdowns, Varying strictness, Uh, today's CDC uh, warned of community spread. And Nancy, the director of the CDC's National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases, she not only said "It, it, it will be bad, she also said the day may come when we may need to implement such measures as seen in Asia. Very important information there. Don't kid yourself if things start spreading here. Uh, The government will crack down so fast it'll make your head spin. 
It's like my subscriber who lives in Italy. In two days, boom, everything changed. Um, get prepared for the quarantine. What are the financial ramifications going to be? So here um, she has a list of resources that the Wuhan Coronavirus Survival Manual, what I bought to prep, uh, financial prep, and would we still have power and water? We might not. So, don't expect a lengthy warning with time to run to the store to pick up everything that you need. Remember Italy. In two days, everything changed. So, again, doesn't matter. Real, not real. What's happening? The agenda behind it. All right, guys. Yeah, be well. The links are below. And I'm not scared. I hope none of you are scared. I hope that you just um, really have yourselves prepared. Ciao.